I'm Mr. Jansen here. Today we are going to be working on your five note scale. A scale is a really great war warm up to help prepare us our tone, our air, and to help prepare us mentally for a really great practice or rehearsal routine. Now the five note scale incorporates the first five notes of your concert B flat major scale. On the saxophone, those notes are G with one, two, and three, A with one and two, B with just your first finger, C with just your middle finger, and then D with your thumb on the octave key, one, two, three on your left hand, and one, two, three on your right hand. We're going to play our five note scale on whole notes first. Recall for a moment how many beats do whole notes get? If you answered four beats, you are correct. Whole notes get four beats each. Now, to help keep us playing in perfect time, we have a device called a metronome. A metronome pulses at exactly the specified tempo. For example, I have my metronome set at 90 BPM, or beats per minute. If you have a metronome at home, that's great. I suggest that you use it daily. If you don't have a metronome, there are numerous free applications that you can download in your phone, or you can just type the word metronome into Google and one will pop up. I'm going to count you off in the following way. One, two, three, four. One, two, breathe, and play. It's very important that we get a nice big breath because we're going to be playing very long notes, four beats each. Remember to also breathe in between each one of our notes. Let's give it a try. Let's play our five note scale on whole notes. to reflect upon your plan. Here's some notes. Make sure that you are sitting with good posture. Your feet flat on the floor, your butt on the edge of the seat, and your back is nice and tall. Remember to take nice deep sips of air as you are playing through your five note scale. It's okay to breathe in between each note while we're playing half notes. And lastly, and most importantly, take a moment to review your fingerings. The fingerings are the most important part of playing the correct way in your five note scale. Let's play our five note scale on half, or excuse me, let's play our five note scale on whole notes one more time. to assess your playing again. If you need more time working on your five note scale on whole notes, feel free to rewind the video and play along with me again, or feel free to pause the video, but if you pause the video, make sure that you pause it on me making this face. Now let's move on to playing our five note scale on half notes. Take a moment to recall how many beats do half notes get. If you said two beats, then you are correct. Half notes get two beats each. I'm going to have my metronome set at the same tempo for this, 90 BPM. What does BPM stand for? That's correct. I'm going to count you off in the same way, but we're going to play our five note scale on half notes this time. Let's give it a try. One, two, three, four. Now you may have noticed that that may be a little bit too 
fast for you. If that's the case, I encourage you to lower the number of BPM or beats per minute that you're playing at. For example, we're going to try it one more time, but this time I'm going to adjust the metronome down to 80 beats per minute. I'm going to count you off in the same way. We're going to make sure that we're taking a nice deep breath. Review your fingerings. Make sure you're sitting with good posture and taking nice deep sips of air as we play our five note scale on half notes. One, two, three, four, one, two. <laughs> scale, this time as quarter notes. Take a moment to recall how many beats do quarter notes get each. That's right, they only get one beat each. Now let's try playing our five note scale as quarter notes. I'm going to adjust the metronome down to 75 beats per minute so that it's a little bit slower. Let's give it a try. Continue to work on your five note scale on whole notes, half notes, and quarter notes. Happy practicing. <laughs> 